right, traders, uh, we're back. Uh, let's go over uh, placing a trade, okay? And I can tell you right now, there's not going to be any rhyme or reason to this. Um, we're just going to get in a position, and I'll kind of show you how I do it. I'm not saying it's the right way. Uh, there's tons of ways to do it. This is simply how I trade. So in this instance, let's say hypothetically, uh, I wanted to get long. Uh, we're trading NQ on a five-minute chart, right? Now, I don't use strategies. Um, I don't use bracket orders or OCOs or uh, ATMs, whatever a platform wants to call it. I just don't. Uh, before I get into trade, I have to understand uh, where my stop is going to be. So let's say I potentially wanted to get into this and go long, right? And I wanted to make sure that my stop was, you know, low of session, right? So what I would do is I would come over here, uh, left click, and I would do a sell stop first. So I'm going to place my stops first. And then from there, I'm going to place uh, my entry, right? So let's say we wanted to hop onto a, a one minute chart and we'll see what's going on on a, uh, one minute chart, I guess not. Let's go back to, oh, I, sorry, I had it zoomed in way too much. That was a problem. Um, I'll try that. There we go. There we go. So let's say I wanted to hop on this one minute chart. You know, I can tighten it up, right? Target, uh, let's say these, these lows here. And I wanted to get into a position on a, a break here, right? So I'll do a buy stop. I am not a breakout trader. You know, I don't do that. Um, typically I'm a, uh, retracement trader, right? I'm a mean reversion trader. I'm going to get into a position as it gravitates towards the mean, a little bit riskier. Uh, sometimes you gotta give a little wider, um, stop and then, uh, the reward can be huge. So that's just a little about me. So as you can see, I just pulled my stop up a little bit. We're in position, right? And we're waiting here. Let's say I wanted to get really, really aggressive. I could put in another buy limit right here. Or let's say we wanted to take this break, right? I could do another buy stop here on the break to the 20 SMA on a one minute. And now we're in two positions, right? Let's get rid of the limit. Drop in another sell stop. You know, we can tighten this up. Um, keep it right below the heads of these candles here. And we could just say, okay, this is our position, right? We are in, as you can see uh, uh, on the blue, 21630, <clears throat> excuse me. And our stops are going to be 614, right? Um, as you can see, it's coming against us right now. So we want to hit another position, right? Get in again. Now we got three. Need another sell stop in there somewhere. And we can just match all those up. Right, because we're just trading one contract at a time. So that's pretty much how I do it. Um, that's how you can do it, trading from the charts. And there's there's no right or wrong way on, on how to trade. Um, and again, I'm just showing you how I do it. <clears throat> uh, these, in fact, are trades that I more, no, would more than likely never take. Um, but it's just as an example, right? So again, we can do it again. Let's say we want to do a buy a limit. <clears throat> and we can target that 9 EMA, put in a sell stop, you know, right like that, right? Actually, in, in all theory, I would, um, I would do a sell stop first <clears throat> and say, okay, I'm, I'm willing to risk this much, and this is where I want to get in, right? Buy a limit right here. Target the mid zone right here. And we'll see if we can get filled or if the price will just uh, take off on us here. Um, zoom in a little bit by dragging it. I can roll the mouse, right? Move the chart all over. See what we got going on. And you can switch through time frames. Five minute time frame, 15 minute time frame. However you want to do it. And you can create your own um, custom time frames here too as well. Right? You can go in here. You can say, let's say we wanted a two minute. Uh, so we'll do two minute, and then this is your, um, maybe I'm zoomed in too much. 
that'll be your potentially two minute time frame. Let's jump back to the five um, right there, right? So that is pretty much everything in a nutshell. Thank you.